How's it going, guys? I have good news and bad news. Good news, we're back on iRacing, Race to Class A. Bad news, I do not have the game sound. I don't know what happened. I plugged my headphones in, because the last time, I couldn't hear my spotter, so I plugged my headphones in to be able to hear the spotter. But now, the, the game capture didn't capture the sound, so instead, we're just going to be playing music in the background, which I feel like is kind of weird, but... I mean, I can't really do anything about not having the sound. So here's our first qualifying lap. This is USA International Speedway. It's in Lakeland, Florida. And it's one of the only, you know, the two tracks you can do in the Rookie Series. So it's either this or Charlotte. I didn't really like Charlotte in the street stocks because all he did was hold the, the throttle wide open. And it was high chance for Rex. So I was like, nah, let's not do that. So this is our qualifying lap. That uh, that time is to our personal best. So we're ten tenths uh, or one tenth of a second up on our personal best. And we end up hitting a 23.67. Now, that was my first lap at night. I never practiced at night. I literally got into this lobby, and I had five minutes to practice. I ran about two laps, and I was like, okay, I have an idea for how fast I can go. Because um, the only time I raced at this track was was during the day. And, and you can see we qualify on pole, so we keep our streak. This is our third race in a row where we get the pole, which is good news. Um, that, that really shows, I think, the skill that we have. And uh, green flag is about to go out. You can see we can really abuse this this start and get a nice jump here. So as we smash the gas, green uh, the green lights come on, green flag is out, and we start to pull away. I had no idea what to expect because this was my first race at night and my first couple of laps at night at uh, USA or National Speedway. If you guys don't know, USA or the iRacing itself is very sensitive to, to track conditions. You can see the car behind us gives us a little tap as I guess he wants us to go, but USA is very or the game itself is very sensitive to track conditions. If it's at night, it's kind of unrealistically fast and grippy, and the daytime's a little bit more slick. We have a lap car here that we're trying to maneuver. We're still in the lead, um, so we are still in a pretty good position, and I think about 10 laps has gone on uh, so far, so I was pretty confident in what was going on and how we were doing, uh, but as you can see here, we're coming out of turn four, and the lap car just completely turns down on us and takes out the leader. So. As I rant so much about lap cars, that is the reason, and that is why I hate rookie class. You can see here on the replay, we do nothing wrong. I'm just holding the bottom lane. I knew he was there. He gets loose, and he just completely smashes us into the wall. Now, you can understand that he got loose, and you can see we have a different perspective here, but as a lap car, you have to realize that the leader is coming. Don't try to drive it off the corner like you're a madman. Just get out of the way. Uh, he didn't get out of the way, and we suffered from that. And then more lap cars being idiots. We have a car flying right here, and we drive underneath them. Uh, is, it, this is rookie class. This is the insanity of the rookie class. I can't even test how fast I am. I don't even like these cars anyways, but you can see here, I mean, I, what is going on? There's a car sitting in the middle of the track. There's This is from his view. He just goes crazy. I mean, it's, he's dead, basically. Like, what? What are we doing here in this rookie class? Like, what what are we doing? Honestly, what are we doing? Sebastian Vettel voice. And then another car sitting in the middle of the track. And I couldn't avoid him. I was already committed to my line. Uh, drove in a little bit too deep. Never saw him in the middle of the corner. And that was that for the first race. Two incidents. The I rating probably didn't go up. And we were in trouble. This is the replay of the second uh, qualifying attempt. So this isn't our second race. This is our qualifying attempt. I forgot to record it, uh, you know, as I was doing it, so I had to record the replay of it. You can see a pretty smooth lap, not terrible, not bad at all. Um, we go in, we are one one thousandth of a second to the good uh, on the pole. So four races, four poles, we continue on. And this is the second race. That green flag is out now. We smash the gas and we pull away. And my main focus here was I don't want to get in an incident. I, like, I, don't, I didn't even care about winning the race anymore. I wanted to race because for the sake of the video, but I did not care about what would happen in this race. So you can see here, the car behind us seems pretty fast. The 14 seems pretty fast. So I was like, you know what? He's peeking down low. I'm going to give him the spot. I didn't even try fighting it. You can see here, we run side by side, but I'm going to get off the gas here entering turn one. And we don't fight it. The one car, wasn't expecting him to also go down below me, but I was like, you know what? It's okay. Uh, we're going to fight him a little bit because I wanted to see if we could get a nice run on the high side. We got a decent run. Uh, so we're going into turn one and, and one and two. And I was like, okay, what do we do here? So we're going to go high, cut this thing down, try to get a run coming out of the corner because at night the, the car is very grippy. Um, we're able to get a run, get back underneath the one car, get into the preferred lane and able to pass him as we go on. Now, this is the position wh where I wanted to be because I wanted to see what the 14 was doing. 
uh, as we, we were still side by side with the one car, but we will clear him here in a second. And there we go. I wanted to see what the 14 was doing. I didn't even care about winning the race because I noticed that the 14 was a little bit faster and I couldn't really catch him. And as you can see here, it looks like he's taking a really wide arc entering the corner. And my issue was right here in the middle of the corner. You can see the more input I put into the wheel, I couldn't get the car to rotate in the middle to where I can pick up the throttle. Whenever I picked up the throttle in the middle of the corner, I felt like I was either going to get too tight and go to the wall, or I was going to get a little bit too loose. So I didn't know how to rotate the middle, and I was trying to find a way to do it, and eventually he would just start pulling away. And this hurt my confidence a little bit, because I was like, you know what? It's true, I haven't run a lot of laps at USA, he probably has, I have, and he's probably a class above me, I'm not. Hey, this is only my, my fourth race, but I was trying to figure out what he was doing, because I wanted to learn uh, what to do, and it, it was all, I knew what their answer was, it was in the middle of the corner, I just didn't know how to do it. So as you can see here, he's just pulling away, continuing to pull away, the one car is peeking inside, so at this point, we're just like, you know what, we do not want any incidents, any mistakes. Uh, we don't want that, so let the one car go and try to follow him as well. See where we are struggling uh, and see where we can make up the time. And it was all in the middle of the corner. I could not find the speed in the middle of the corner. Uh, so he passes the lap car. We're continuing on to this race. We're a little bit later on in the race. We have a lap car right in front of us here. And we try to go below him. Uh, the lap car does not know what it's doing. He's in the middle of the track. He's not high. He's not low. He finally pulls down low. But uh, for all lap cars out there in iRacing, if you are slow... Just stay high. Just stay near the wall. Just, just just stay high. Know where the leaders are coming. Know where those guys are coming from. And uh, in turn three and four, you can see here we get loose coming out of turn four, and we lose it. Now I have an, I actually have an explanation for this. Uh, so I was I was completely focused. I don't. The reason why I don't do live comms is because if you do live comms, you will screw up. And uh, my friend actually came into my room, and I noticed he came into my room, and I was like, "You need to leave." And the second I said, "You need to leave." I completely lost focus on the car and I just spun out and I was I was so pissed because I was like that's the one time I talked and I lost concentration and I didn't if if I was concentrated I would have just let off the gas and you know it would have been that but uh, we finished in seventh after that race and that was just that was pathetic so we were like you know what we're not doing that we're doing a third race because I am sick and tired of having bad races those two races were ass now the last race wasn't terrible because we only had one incident so our safety rating kind of went up a little bit but I was having none of it. So this is the qualifying attempt for the third run. And I kind of messed up the exit of turn one. I didn't know. I was trying different things. I was trying the wide arc. Uh, but as you can see here, we got three and four pretty nicely. We were uh, five one hundreds faster than our personal best. So three and four was a good, but one and two was not at all. So we hit a decent lap time, but it's our pole runs over. Four races in a row, we had pole, but not the fifth. We will qualify third. And I was okay with that. I one, one of the guys in the chat, the actual the the two car on the outside said he can run a four in qualifying. I was running sixes. He could run a four, and I was like, how in the hell do you do that? If I practiced for a couple hours, maybe I could hit a four. But I mean, I couldn't do it now. So green flag is out. The leader completely abused his 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 uh his abilities. I mean, he jumped out huge. Um, and we're just continuing on. This is probably lap three, and you could tell, I, I could just tell that two car behind us was fast. He's peaking. I give him the bottom. I don't want to try blocking his lane. I could tell he was fast. Like, he, that car, I don't know what he was doing, but I, again, I wanted to learn. My focus here was not winning races. I feel like in street stocks, you can't really show your talent level, but when I saw this guy, I was like, oh, this guy has talent, and I wanted to see what he was doing. Uh, one lap later, he gets right behind the leader. The leader tries putting up a fight. Uh, but there's no fight. The leader's going to just slide up. And uh, we're going to get underneath that one car of the leader. And I, I, I made sure we had to get past this one car because you just have to be behind the two. I had to be behind the two to see what is he doing. And the first thing I noticed right there was his wide arc. He's taking these wide arcs into this corner, but he's able to pick up the throttle in the middle. And you can see he's just pulling away. And it's the same exact thing I saw last race. Not to, not to that extent. I, I mean, the last guy would have gotten smoked by this guy, but... So the same kind of driving style, very wide arc, entering the corner. It's all, to me, what I think they're doing is it's all with the brakes and how they're dragging the brakes maybe or getting off the brakes, letting the car rotate in the middle and then immediately picking the throttle back up. We have a lap car that we're dealing with. The lap car causes third place to mess up. And I mean, that's my biggest worry is lap cars because luckily it didn't happen to us, but we were able to continue on. 
Um, and I was just, again, focusing on the leader. You can see the leader's out of the, the freaking view. He's like three and a half seconds ahead of us by now. And uh, we're just, we're running second. There's no pressure behind us, but... I mean, what do we do when we have a car that fast? That's a little bit worrisome because we want to learn to be that fast. And uh, I had no idea how to do it. Here comes the 11 car again. I get loose coming out of turn four, able to save it this time. I was concentrated, so I was able to save it. But the only reason we got loose is because I just, I didn't know what the 11 was going to do. I didn't know if he was going to get loose, if he was going to come down. So I just tried giving him as much room as possible. We continue on later in the race. Nothing's really happened. We're still running second. The guy behind us running third, we're kind of same speed. We're not, he's not faster than I am, I'm not faster than he is. Uh, we're coming towards the end of the race here, only a couple laps to go. He's peaking down low, and my mindset here was I'll fight him, but I'm giving him the bottom because I do not want to wreck. That's the one thing I don't want to do, I'll give him room. We get a nice run coming out of the corner. We have these two lap cars ahead of us, so I'm trying to be very careful. The car is also starting to get a little bit loose because we're late into the run. This is like 35 laps into the run. You can see here we get loose coming out of turn two. Uh, but the car is okay. The car is pretty good. He's not really pressuring us from behind. I really give respect to this guy behind us because he didn't try bumping us or anything. He was racing completely clean. The guy behind him was racing completely clean as well. We're just trying to get through these lap cars. The lap car gets loose right here. We are off the throttle. And I was very proud of myself to, uh, you saw the guy behind us got a little bit panicky, but I was proud of myself because I held the steering wheel very steady and just got off the throttle, saw where he was going to go, and then just gassed it when I saw him going down the track. So very proud of myself. We're on the white flag lap. No incidents whatsoever. We come out of turn four. We finish second. But the biggest thing, zero incidents. Finishing second to a guy that was basically Martin Truex Jr. on steroids. That's okay. I'm completely fine with that. We'll learn only our fifth race in iRacing, uh, and we'll learn eventually, learn the car, and definitely, I learned some things there, and you can see the, the comment section here, I was like, dude, you were incredible. I mean, he's, we had some good racing for second, third, and fourth, but the, the guy in the leader, he was gone. Um, we finished second, but the biggest thing, the biggest thing, and you'll see here in a, in, a, in a second when we go to the main page, if you look to the top left where you see my name, and then you'll see the rating, you will see we're in orange and it's class D. We have upgraded to class D. So the last two races, we went up 0.24 in in the second race, and then we went up we we went up 0.5 points in the third race. Being able to run fast, finish well, and zero incidents. Out of, five races later, we're gone. We're out of the rookie class, which means next up, we're doing something else. So guys, if you like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'm not sure what's next. I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Out of rookie class. Thank God. Peace out. I can't change. Even if I try. Even if I wanted to. And I can't change. Even if I try. My love, my love, my love. She keeps me warm.